This is Jeff Kubiak with Metchem, and today we're going to talk about the fully automatic plate shifter. This is a 40 cubic foot, 1200 millimeter filter press. As you can imagine, the plates are quite large and cumbersome or difficult to do by yourself, even with two people. So we have the automatic plate shifter. This is the carriage. It will automatically come over, grab a plate. We stopped at mid shift so you can see what's happening. The the hydraulics are load sensing. So when the carriage comes over and bottoms out on the plate, it grabs it, pulls it back, and goes all the way to the end until it, the hydraulics sense a load, and then reverse, go back to get the next plate. And it'll automatically keep shifting until all the plates are done. As the plate shifter is shifting, it's customary for the operator to observe the sludge falling. The cloths are okay, they're intact, they're properly seated into the plate. The O-ring cord is in place. If something goes wrong, the operator needs to come in and knock some sludge off. For example, he sees some sludge right here. He goes in and knocks the sludge off. You'll notice the carriage stops because I broke the beam of the light curtain. The light curtain is watching from light curtain to light curtain to make sure there's nothing in the way. And when I step in the way, it shuts off for safety. Same thing happens with the hydraulic ram. If this is closing and I step in, it stops closing. We're gonna close the filter press now, push all the plates up against the head plate so that it's ready for filtration. To do that, the plate shifter carriages must be in the home position. It's all the way back at the tail side. Shifter plate is currently at home. We're gonna activate the hydraulics and push all the plates forward to the head. We can do this by switching the filter press to close. Now the ram is pushing all the plates forward. Once the filter press is full, it's holding all the sludge it can, it's time to open the press, run the plate shifter, and dump the sludge. To do that, we first want to make sure that nothing is passed into the plane of the light curtain because it trips and latches open so that you can't operate the plate shifter or the hydraulics for the return of the platen. So we're going to hit the reset button to make sure that the light curtain is good, and now we're going to switch filter press from closed to open. There's a slight delay in the hydraulics and it kicks in. Now the filter press platen is all the way back. Pusher plate is at home, the light is on. We're gonna switch the control from press to shifter. We're gonna put the shifter in automatic and we're gonna start the plate shifter. It's an automatic mode. It's going to the first available plate. When that carriage gets to the next plate, it bottoms out. The hydraulic load increases. The control panel knows that and it reverses. Same thing when it fully retracts the plate. Reverses. Load sensor says switch grabs the next plate. This is all automatic. The operator should be looking at the sludge falling from the press plate cavity, verifying the O-rings are in place, the cloth looks good. We can continue with the shift until done. This is the fully automatic plate shifter system, but we also offer several others. We have the semi-automatic, the pendant controlled, and of course the super shifter, which also has the features of bumping the plates and washing the cloths.